The real trick to keeping peace in your marriage. Let me tell you a quick story that happened about two weeks after I was married. So after 14 days of brushing my teeth, I noticed that my wife squeezed the toothpaste tube in the middle most of the time. And I chose to squeeze it from the end. Now my theory was always, if you squeeze it from the end and then you keep the full part ahead of you, that you get more out of the tube when you finally reach the end of it. Now, it may not have been right, but that was my theory, <laughs> and I was sort of sticking to it. Well, Rhonda evidently was not so enlightened. I also found out that she liked the roll of toilet paper to hang down from the front instead of from the top down the back. Now, we were fortunate in that regard because I really didn't care the way it was put on, the roll, uh, just as long as it was there. And so I was, since I didn't really have a preference, I was just happy to make sure that I always put it on the way that she preferred. The modern toothpaste manufacturers have saved a lot of marriages. Because modern toothpaste is in a plastic tube, and whenever you get through with it, it just bounces back to its original shape, thereby saving many marriages. Not so when we were married. Back then, the toothpaste tubes were made out of some kind of metallic material underneath the paint. It looked like stiff, metallic, aluminum foil type material. Whenever you squeezed it, it did not bounce back into shape. Now, I have to admit, that really frustrated me. Well, a few years after that, one of our cousins got us a product that was called a marriage saver. It was like a clothes pin, and you stuck your toothpaste tube in that pin, and then you rolled it up as you used it. Well, of course, I like that because that was closer to my theory as to how you should do it in the first place. And Rhonda was willing to go along with it. So our marriage was saved. Now, that gift was actually given to us as a joke. But I have found in many marriage seminars that I've done, and I take a survey of the audience, it's about half and half who prefer the two to be squeezed from the end or in the middle. Sometimes people shake their heads very emphatically, yes or no. In other cases, maybe it doesn't make that much difference to either one of them. But it is something that is a difference and that has to be worked out. One way of doing it is just to each let the other do it whatever the way they want to do it and just live with it. Another way is to do like I did with the toilet paper roll and just do it like your spouse wants it done. But however it is done, it does need to be worked out. Now the thing I want you to take away from this is that sometimes we all need to realize that husbands and wives do have preferences. And we certainly need to realize that there are differences of opinion in marriage. And they need to work through how they will handle those differences. However, what this means to your marriage is that we also all need to realize our preferences maybe really don't matter as much as we think they do. So you may have discovered some differences of opinion in your marriage. So what should you do about that? Well, here's your next step. Take a look at the book, From Mountains to Molehills. You can find it at Amazon.com. Incidentally, I want you to understand that I almost straightened out her mistake on several occasions before we got that marriage saver. So, love each other, care for each other, respect each other, and learn the trick to having peace and harmony in your marriage.